Okay, so this is a great operating system on Raspberry Pi 4. This is Fido S. Uh, now, I did a video the other day, uh, this one here, Fido S Alpha, uh, which was the Chromium version. So it was pretty much just based around the web browser and not really anything else. Ran really well though, video performance was excellent and worth checking out anyway. But I got contacted by uh, a guy called Alpha, uh, and uh, which is confusing because that previous one was Fido S Alpha. But this guy, uh, from his email, he's called Alpha, and uh, he's uh, one of the creators of this, Fido S Beta, and he's made it specifically for the Raspberry Pi 400. But the exciting thing about this is this is the same uh, Chrome OS as you use on a Chromebook. So it actually comes with Android support and Google Play support. Now you have to do a few things on the setup for Google Play, but I'll go through that. So in this tutorial, this isn't about the operating system. This is how to set it up and get it running. I'll do a separate video showing the multiple of games that I've had running on it. I've had loads and loads of games running on it. And actually the performance is really good. Compatibility is really good. Uh, the web browser works really well. If it looks a little soft, it's because I'm running this at 720, but that's because I've been running games from it. It actually runs fine at 1080 as well. So I'll link to this YouTube video so that you can get the download through that because he's created it and it will get more views to his video. Uh, so let's show you how to set it up. I'm going to restart in Twister OS because that's what I'm going to use to set it all up. Okay, so Twister OS is booted up. I'm booting Twister from an SSD drive. So the SD card slot is free because I'm going to install this to an SD card. Now, I was running Fido OS uh, from this SSD drive and it works fine with that. So it supports USB boot. I haven't tried it with an SD card yet. So let's pop the card in and that will get recognized by the system and I'll switch over to screen capture. And thank you to Barry Rogers for letting me know about this operating system. I did already have an email from Alpha uh, to let me know about that, but I always like it when people let me know about new operating systems and things to try out on the Pi. Uh, so, and thanks obviously to Alpha. So let's go to uh, his website. So click on the direct download and that will download this file to your Pi. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so I can close this down now. I can open up Imager, click on that. Choose OS, go all the way down to the bottom and hit custom. Fido OS Pi 400, that's the image that I've downloaded. Hit open, choose SD card. Well, that's the only one that's showing because I'm running the rest from an SSD. Hit right and yes. And then we'll come back when that's all written. And if you haven't already got Raspberry Pi Imager, I've got a video on how to install it here. So once that's finished and you get a successful message, uh, close this down and uh, you need to start up GPART. If you haven't got GParted already, it's sudo apt install GParted and follow the on-screen instructions. Uh, I've already got it, so if I go down to the bottom here and put in GParted, click on that, and pop your password in. If you haven't changed it, it will be Raspberry. And this is a partition manager, and you'll see here, unallocated. So this is, uh, if I click on here, this is Twister OS, uh, which is the operating system I'm running from. This other one, and it, and it might be the other way around, it might be on the bottom or the top, it doesn't really matter, but you need to know which one you're changing. Uh, so you can see here, this is where all the data is held for Chrome OS and Android. So we need to resize this partition. So right click on it and do resize and drag it. And then just hit resize move. And that's basically using the whole of the partition for the operating system. Click on the tick and click apply and you might have to do this for other operating systems so it's a good thing to know about Gparted I've got a video on it if you want to check that out and it explains it in a bit more detail okay so all operations successfully completed so we can close that down so now I can shut down Twister OS once the light goes out I can unplug the SSD drive which is this one so now it's going to be running from the SD card that I've just installed Fido S to so let's hit the power button and boot up. There you go, it's back into screen capture now. So pick your language and your keyboard and hit OK. And let's go. Now I'm using an Ethernet cable, so I'm just going to skip this bit. Scroll down and agree. 
Now at this point you can browse as guests, but I signed in with a FidoS account. So if you click on that, and it, I haven't paid anything for a FidoS account. If you click on it, I, I found with this, with my mouse, it doesn't always, oh there you go. And it's not in alphabetical order, so look for your country on there. Pop your phone number. And if you've created your account before, you'll have a password and log in. I ticked I prefer Google because I like to use Google on a Chromebook. And then you can sign into your Google account. So I've got two-factor authentication, so I have to confirm on my iPad. So I'll say yes to that on my iPad. And then get started. Okay, so at this point you don't have the Google Play Store, so if you want to install Android apps, uh, you can't. Uh, just to show you how well it works already, so if I do a search for BBC, let's go full screen. The web browser works lovely and fast, uh, but the video performance is also very good. So let's get the Google Play services on here. So if we click on the bottom bit here, uh, and then click this arrow to go up, you're looking for the store. Then in the store, you're looking for Made by FidoS and then configure open G apps. So let that load up and hit add to Fido OS. Hit add app. You see this notification coming down that it's downloading. Once that's done, click on the bottom right hand corner and then click on the new notification. Click on OK in the box. Then we need to go into settings, so open up the bottom bit here. Type in Android, and you can see preferences comes up, click on that. Manage preferences. Click I agree, and click launch. Click on the notification again. Click I agree, click next, click install and install again and hit OK when it's finished installing hit reboot now ok so after it's finished installing uh, and it reboots you should get these two messages come up but it does take a while it doesn't come up instantly uh, after you've logged in uh, so Google Play Protect is turned on that's a good sign but this device isn't Play Protect certified so if I click on the bottom here and uh, expand you can see the Play Store's here but if I try and use it, so it checks my device and it will tell me that it's not certified. So what we need to do now is make sure it's certified. So open up a web browser and type in XDA device is not certified. And it will come up with this story. So it's this bit here near the bottom. Click on the mirrored application. Click here to start download. And click again. Click on the primary download. And then hit save. So you can see it down the bottom here. Click on show in folder. Double click the icon. And hit continue. Hit install. Okay, so that's installed now. So let's open it, bottom right. And the bit we want is this one here, the GSF. So drag over that and hit copy. Then we need to go back to that story. Keep going back. And then we need to go to this web page to register the device. Right click and paste it in here. Click that you're not a robot and hit register. Now it looks like nothing's happened, but that is all you need to do. Uh, it doesn't show up immediately, so uh, I would say it's probably best to wait two or three minutes and uh, and after a while it will, it will show up and the Google Play services will start working. So let's close all this down and just wait a bit and see how long it takes. Okay, that's been more than two minutes, so I'm going to click on the Play Store and see if it will work this time. So hit sign in. Yeah, still not ready yet. Close it down. I'm going to try rebooting. 
Okay, so that's about eight minutes later. Let's give it a try again. Sign in. There you go. So now we've got a sign in. We can sign in with a Google account and we know it's working. Tap accept to confirm. And you can see down the bottom here it says completing setup. You get lots of notifications when it's uh, confirming everything. And that's it. This is my account. I'm now logged in. If I click through and I want to install, or if I go to the top here, my games and apps and uh, just do installed and then I can pick on something just click on library and I can click on something I want to install so let's just click something small uh, so CX file explorer hit install and you can see it's loading onto the device now and when you launch a game that uses the Google Play games app uh, that will automatically launch and open it will just work like a, a normal Android device now There you go, so that's my device. Uh, if I close all this down, and let's just quickly show the web browser just to show how good the performance is in that. So we click on YouTube. If we do a search for Lee PSP Video HDR, click on that. See the advert and it starts playing pretty quickly. Just skip past that. So I've just muted it so you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, so if I right click on this and do stats for nerds, it's coming up eight frames dropped of 261. Uh, and it's saying optimal resolution 1920 by 1080. It does play well. The, uh, the other Fido S was, was excellent as well, but now you've got the added advantage of having the Google Play Store and Android apps, and I do find that it's very compatible with Android apps. So let's just close, well, let's just do, I usually do a web search, Hot UK Deals, and that's come up nice and quick. Click on that and start scrolling. Yeah, I'm impressed. It, uh, it is a very good operating system, definitely one to watch, definitely one I'll be trying out a lot more. I've already put loads of games on another operating system, so the one I put on the SSD, I've got loads and loads of games and I need to do that in a separate video. Thanks to Alpha for creating this, uh, it's a great build. Thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.